Welcome back to Shem's Universe. So today guys, we're just going to discuss the karmic numbers 19 and 16. Uh, so I missed those numbers um, for the number one video and then the number seven. So that's really my apologies. Uh, so today I just want to clear up some things. Uh, the karmic debt number is a number that has a very, very uh, big effect on you when it's in your primary chart. Meaning in Western numerology, if it's in the life path, the expression number, um, personality, soul urge, or birth. Birth, not so much, I would say. It wouldn't have much of an effect, but the other four, yeah. Um, so what we're looking at first, I want to do number number 19. So number 19 is governed by 1, which is the Sun. 9, we have Mars, that equals 1 again. So we've discussed 19 in prior videos when it comes to birth numbers. And I've given you guys my general synopsis of the 19. When it shows up as a karmic debt, though, like so we're discussing specifically life paths right now. When it comes up as a life path, what we're having here is a bit of a problem because you have someone who in a prior reincarnation may have um, overstepped their boundaries. It may have been very manipulative and domineering over other people or a large amount of people or just maybe the one person. So this is somebody who's facing karmic debt pretty much in very, very simple terms for being a bully. Um, so in this lifetime, if that's your life path number, unlike the other ones, you may have a hard time asserting yourself as a leader um, you may have a hard time completing tasks, like when it comes to like starting things, you might be good at that. But then when it comes to completing them, that's where the weaknesses may come in. Um, you may also face some abuse from like parents or relatives as well, uh, based on this karmic debt. So a lot of interesting things can come out of it, just depending on where you stand with that. Um, my remedy for it is this. You have to understand that it's a debt that you do owe if you do believe in numerology. So you have to just accept it accept the pain and it'll become less painful so if you have this as a karmic debt understand that you're gonna have to set clear boundaries with people understand that you're still a life path one meant to be a leader and understand that you still do deserve love a lot of 19s end up figuring they don't deserve the love that they just deserve abuse they get themselves into relationships that reflect what happened to them as a child um, with girls a lot of things could happen like rape anything like that um, with the men uh, not so much the rape part, but a lot of bullying in childhood, maybe from like a domineering father or an older brother or relative that may just be tyrannical over them. So you just have to watch out for how you're interpreting your karmic debt because a lot of people, like I said with the number 13, like Oprah, um, they use their karmic debt to their advantage. There's a, I know a lot of celebrities that are billionaires that have karmic debt numbers as their life path. And, when you actually master the karmic debt and pay it off, it's like when you pay off like your credit card, your credit score just goes like way up out of nowhere after like a month after you paid it off, you see drastic change. Um, I'd say it's the same exact thing for the karmic debt of any of these numbers from 13, 14, 16, or 19. If you actually pay off the karmic debt that you owe, um, your life will start going a lot more smoothly. Uh, moving on though, we're gonna just get to the 16 now. Um, with 16, um, of course, that's a base number of 7. This is a very um, spiritual number. And the karmic debt of 16 is not so much that you may have had a bad reincarnation before, but it's more of a lesson to um, look into how your ego translates into your life. So what that means is like a lot of people that have karmic debt number 16 as a life path, in the early part of their life, uh, they may have been very popular, uh, may have gotten things quite easily because of the 6. They may have been quite of a show-off. And that may have actually rubbed people the wrong way. I know a lot of people that had life path 16 over 7 that said that their youthful ages were like amazing. And then as soon as they hit like 30 to 40, life just went downhill. There's a reason for that. And the reason is because you're meant to actually like open up your chakras. The seventh chakra is the crown chakra, which is outside of our third dimension that really leads to the fourth. And you're meant to actually open that if you have this as a karmic debt. Meaning you have to let go of ego, let go of the... Um, the definition of time and really release yourself so the universe can penetrate you uh, once you're able to actually do that in a proper sequence you'll notice that your life goes a lot better and a lot of the things that you lost may come back except with real content this time with real substance when you're young a lot of the friends that you may have had might have been fake they might have envied you for your energy um, it's the list will go on seriously um, with the women that have the 16 over 7 I'd caution you not to marry for money um, just because I noticed that a lot of people that have life paths 16 over 7 that happen to be women, they end up marrying men for money because they deem themselves as unworthy to be able to earn for themselves. Understand that you do have the capability to earn for yourself. You do have an extremely powerful spiritual self that's guiding you. 
and the universe is definitely trying to penetrate you in this lifetime to actually reach a whole new level of understanding and perception. All right, so that would be it for the karmic debt numbers. Um, tomorrow I'm just gonna get into the expression numbers, go all the way through that for you guys, and then we're gonna see the differences with how the Pythagorean numerology differentiates between how the numbers correspond and how you define them. So we're gonna do expression, I'll do soul urge after that, and then personality numbers. We've done birth numbers for like a whole month, so I'm not gonna review those again. If you wanna know about birth numbers, I made the full like 30 videos of that in August, so just check it out there. But aside from that, guys, please like, subscribe, haul me. Be back tomorrow, guys. Thanks.